Anger has erupted outside state parliament when a group of protesters, both men and women, turned up wearing burqas. The non-Muslims were calling for Australia to ban burqas and their stance caused great offence. A clash of cultures on the streets of Sydney. Don't tell us what to do. Don't tell you what to do. This was outside Parliament House where security and police were called. Take it off. No, we're not leaving. Take it off. And at Downing Centre local court. It is offensive. Look at you. None of these people is Muslim. Some aren't even women. So dressed like this, they were bound to cause offence. They're calling for headwear like the burqa and niqab to be outlawed, claiming they're a security risk. If they are thinking that something's suspicious, they're instantly going to be put into the position of being called a racist. Where helmets are banned, they got into banks, courts, even city pubs for a beer without drama. But they were stopped in their tracks at Parliament House. It's a good thing. For me personally, it shows to me that they're doing their job. You don't know who or what is under here. The so-called faceless protesters say this proves their point that nobody really knows how to handle the sensitivities around the niqab and burqa. I think it is pretty offensive because we live in this um, you know, democratic country and we are given the freedom of choice. A freedom that's being challenged. Hugh Whitfeld, 7 News.